Hello, all my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your general love reading for the week of um, July 25th through the 31st. Let me know down, Libras, how in the comments down below how you guys have been, if this reading resonates. And um, it just like, we know how your week is going so far. So guys, um, I'm gonna be starting off the bottom of the deck. So I already shuffled the cards, by the way, but at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. I see somebody, okay, so there's two scenarios I'm picking up here for the general energy, Libra. I do feel like there is um, there is somebody that has a lot of passion for you, somebody that um, could be coming in, could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, could be somebody that you're dealing with from the past as well. But I do feel, and also I'm hearing a player-like energy, somebody that maybe could be very flirtatious with people. Um, but then for some reason, when it comes to you, they are very magnetized by you, I'm seeing here. But there is somebody um, I'm seeing that could be around a player like energy and this could not doesn't necessarily have to be um it doesn't necessarily have to be um towards you. you could have a friend that you've been giving advice about somebody that's been dealing with someone like this but um I do feel like there could be some there is somebody um coming in very fast Libra we have the nine of wands that says young man to 25 years important letter so there could be some important news coming your way and it could be in regard to a job a, a family member a friendship you could be getting some mail with some news, a letter coming in soon. Um, it could also be a text message as well, I'm hearing. Okay, or an email I'm also hearing as well. So that was the general message, Libra. So let's get into the love portion of this reading. Um, so uh, I'm gonna be going over your feelings, their feelings, and overall outcome slash clarity. And then I'm going to end the reading off with a few cards. I'm gonna be going over um, so what this person likes about you, maybe a favorite attribute that you have, and then and then you're this is I'm also gonna pull another card for a favorite trait of this person. And that could be vice versa as well. And then at the very last, um the very last cards I'm gonna be pulling are could be potential initials to a first or last name and number, significant numbers, such as a birthday or a anniversary of, or a specific number that's significant to you of some sort. That part might not resonate, which leads into the next thing I'm about to say is a quick disclaimer. Um, Libras, if this reading resonates, that's awesome. But if it doesn't, that just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out your moon, rising, or Venus signs alongside with my past or future videos. Cross watchers, this is a safe place for you guys as well. So just keep that in mind while watching the roles could be vice versa. Okay. Wow, guys. So far, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Justice, and the Hierophant. Oh my gosh. Wow. These are some big cards here. The Justice and the Hierophant being here. I definitely feel like there is still justice on a situation you are trying to gain. And justice, the Justice card is the Libra card. So Libra, you are popping out into this reading. <laughs> I feel like you're taking a stand, Libra. You're taking a stand against something maybe that's been really frustrating you, something that you've been... um that you've been thinking about for some time. Um, the Seven of Pentacles says, work frustrations, hard work needing to be done either at work or at a situation in life. I do feel like there is something this coming week that you would have been frustrated. And I do feel like this is this could be this whole month you've been frustrated. I do feel something has been um, frustrating you, something been could have been stressing you out, something you've been holding back for a while. Maybe I do feel like you are putting work into this, whoever this um, connection is. You are, you've been putting work into it. And I do feel like maybe for some, you haven't been getting the, the work back that you've been wanting. You've, maybe you haven't feel you've been feeling like this person isn't getting you enough to be their energy. They're maybe retracting their energy. And I do feel like you're getting ready to say something to this person. If you haven't already, I do, I feel like you've been patient. I'm hearing. And I also hear Libra, you're not here to play games. Like you're, you want something you're looking for the real thing. We have the higher fit and the King of Pentacles. You're wanting a stable relationship. You're wanting to move up to the next level with this person or with whoever you are meant to be with. You are ready to meet your one, Libra. You want to be with the person you were meant to be with. And I do feel like you aren't at a time in your life where you want to deal with people that are going to play games or mess with your heart. You want to feel secure with whoever you are with. I also feel like um, for some Libras, you guys could be business owners. You could be really into your career. You've been, um, I do feel like you have a lot going on for you, Libra. You have a lot of amazing qualities. You have a lot of opportunities coming in this week for you um, in regards to your career specifically, but it could also be some sort of, um, somebody could be loaning you money this coming week, something, um, some sort, somebody could be giving you a gift of some sort. 
It's because with the King of Pentacles, this is about the resources as well. Pentacles are about resources, the physical aspect. Um, the King of Pentacles says, man over 25 years, dark eyes, dark hair, business, arrogance, powerful. So maybe whoever you're dealing with, you, you've, maybe for some you feel like maybe they have been a bit arrogant lately, or it could be um, maybe you're just kind of, there's a part of this person that is kind of making you a bit, um, like you're feeling like you just aren't happy with the way they've been treating you, maybe, Libra. Um, maybe they just haven't been, maybe they haven't been themselves lately. Maybe they're not usually this like this, or maybe they've been extra um, tense lately and they haven't, they're not, I'm hearing that they're not usually like this. And then all of a sudden they just kind of switch a flip, a switch, a, a flip a switch on you, sorry. And it's just like, you're wondering like, who is this person? Like, I thought this is, I thought this was going well. I thought things were I thought we were going up to the next level here. I thought we were leveling up in the connection. I thought we were going to be in a relationship that we were, you know, things were going to go further, you know, and then all of a sudden I do feel like this person could have, um, retracted their energy of some sort. And it is kind of frustrating for you guys, because I feel like you put a lot of time and effort into this connection and it wasn't easy for you guys to open up as well. I feel like you guys could have opened up and, oh my gosh, Libra, I'm hearing that for some, you guys opened up with an emotional conversation. And then this person like, um, you guys had a very deep conversation with one another and then all of a sudden the next day this person just kind of didn't talk to you or like the next two days this person talked to you or something and it's just like and part of me was like very frustrated if that had happened and that's not going to resonate for every Libra out there but for the ones that did like I feel like it was just very frustrating if that happened recently because you were you it took a lot for you to open up it took a lot for you to um get to that place where you felt secure enough to open up. And I do feel like you felt like you could, you could trust this person to open up to them about whatever you wanted to talk to them about. But then all of a sudden it's like, they went, they kind of ghosted you or they kind of retracted their energy and they, they kind of, um, they kind of distanced themselves from you. And it just was very frustrating, you know, cause you really want to be with the right person. You want to be with somebody that treats you right. That gives you, enough attention it gives you the attention that you deserve Libra and you just really I do feel like it is frustrating because maybe you you really are um you were really excited about getting to know this person as well I do feel like you are wanting to get justice on this situation you are wanting to call them out I'm hearing at least like you want to be able to have, to have a talk with them and really state your um state how you're feeling and just really take a stance here I'm hearing you you, um, you know what you want, Libra, and you, you aren't gonna settle for less than that. So for their feelings, oh my gosh, for some, they could live at a distance from you, Libra. We have the Six of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Wands. You could be dealing with a water sign for some, some Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I didn't also mention, you could also be dealing with another Libra and the Ataris, because the Hierophant is here. Also, for some, you could be in a relationship with this person already, and maybe that's, um, you just feel stagnant and you're wanting to move, you're wanting to, um, progress here. Oh my gosh. Wow, Libra. Wow. So for some, this could be somebody coming, this could have been somebody, okay, there's two scenarios I'm hearing. There could be, this could be somebody coming back from the past wanting to have a conversation with you again. Um, cause the six of cups is also about the past, past connections. So this could be, um, somebody coming back into your present, somebody you were in a relationship with, um, that you could have separated from others of you. This could, this person feels extremely, a very strong soulmate connection to you. They feel very, they feel a lot of emotions towards you and they feel very happy with you. Um, it says happy house, childhood memories. So for some, you could have known this person since childhood, or they just make you feel like they make you feel like that you feel that inner child in you. Like you just feel very um, goofy around this person. It's a very playful connection. I'm hearing for some, it's very, I do feel like you want, um, this person does want to give to you. They do want to, um, they really have fun when they're around you. They feel very, um, they feel like you guys have a lot in common. They feel an instant connection with you. Like the, the conversation just flows very naturally. But there's a part of this person where they are hiding how they're feeling. 
it's like they they kind of hide away in their feelings and they kind of try to um they don't like to talk about their feelings and i think that whenever they start to talk deep or get into deep conversations for some reason they just kind of feel like overwhelmed with their emotions and they they start to um get scared of their emotions and they get scared of they're scared of getting hurt i'm hearing like they get scared of their emotions they get scared of getting hurt and they don't want to feel hurt they don't want to um it's it's almost like they try every time they tr get into a connection they just try to keep it at um they try not to get too close to the person or too attached because i feel like in their past they could have dealt with somebody that had hurt them really badly that left them feeling broken and they don't want to feel that way again and so they ha they try to not get too close to people and it's almost like they don't think about it you know like they just they're just having fun they're connecting with you you know but then all of a sudden it's like this person just retracts their energy and it's almost it's like it could be it could be scared of you know opening up because with the queen of cups here she she's kind of the sad queen of the deck like it's almost like this person has a lot that maybe that's going on in their life if that they're going through that they're not expressing to you or to anyone at this time. They're kind of just, they could just kind of take time out for their self, themselves just to think about things because they're they're definitely a deep thought here. The Queen of Cups, she's a very emotional queen. She has emotional intelligence. I feel like this person definitely feels a lot. I'm hearing that they have definitely a Pisces in their chart somewhere in there. I'm hearing Pisces moon. You could also have a Pisces moon Libra. Doesn't have to be, of course, but I do feel like this person definitely feels a lot of emotions, but they're they're um, scared to open up about these emotions. They kind of just keep things to themselves. They kind of just um, put the emotions in the back of their um, their head and just they just don't think about it. They just try to not think about it. But then I feel like sometimes this they'll, they'll start thinking about these emotions and it's just it's very overwhelming for them. I'm hearing. I hear that this person could be intuitive or psychic, have psychic abilities as well. I do feel like you guys could be psychic with one another. Like you guys could be dreaming about each other. We have the two ones in the world. This person could definitely live at a distance from you. And that could be part of the reason why they're, um, why they could be emotionally distant at some times because this person, um, maybe they've thought about things like the distance between you two, you know, maybe this could be a long distance relationship or connection for some. And they do think about you quite a bit, Libra, with the two of wands here. Short journey, movement, or near water. The world says overseas trip, money, luck, world in the palm of your hands, new opportunities. I do feel like this person could have had a new opportunity come in their life where they've been trying to focus on that. They've been focusing on this new opportunity, whatever this was that just came into their life, I'm hearing. I also see the world card as... They see you as the world. They see you as somebody very special, unique. Like this connection is a once in a lifetime connection. I do see this person is starting to realize that. Um, and if they haven't realized that yet, I do feel like in the near future, they will realize that very soon. Um, that this connection is very deep. That this connection is, um, it would have to do with after, after you guys have a conversation of some sort, this convert, this the, their feelings might they start might start to realize things you know they might start to think about it and be like well you know what like this connection is very natural it is very deep it is very real what what you both have with one another I do feel I'm hearing Libra that you guys are trying to um, move on from this person for some you are not having this anymore and you are trying to I do feel like for some, you are walking away from this connection as hard as it is, Libra. I'm hearing that for some, you are deciding to walk away just because I do feel like you you can't take any more of this connection just because of the um, it has already caused you a lot of hurt um, and a lot of disappointment I'm hearing for some Libras. Others of you, I do feel like... Um, I do feel like whatever conversation is coming towards you, it will change things. I do feel like it might make you think about things differently. Um, I do. I also feel like there's a heart, a heartfelt conversation coming your direction, Libra, with this person. I do feel like this person is wanting to have that heartfelt conversation with you. Um, just make sure you use your intuition here, Libra, and um, make sure you're using intuition here with this person, and just making sure you're making the right decisions here. Um, I do feel like you, whatever decision you will make, it will be the right decision. But just like 
make sure you're using your intuition with this person, making sure that this person's intentions are true, you know, and that they have good inten intentions, you know, because I do feel like looking at the cards, this person is going through a lot. I can't really see their intentions at this time. I do feel like this person does have good intentions when it comes to you. But like I said, everybody's um, situation is going to be a little different. So just be be um, cautious of this person's intentions towards you and just really listen to your intuition here, you know, about this person. I feel though definitely that this person could live um, across the body of water from you. And they are definitely thinking about this connection quite a bit. They're definitely thinking about, you know, what they can do here. Oh, wow. Like I said, Libra, I, I literally called this before it happened. We have the Eight of Cups. You guys are, I do feel like you guys, oh my gosh. Libra, for some, you guys are going through a breakup. You guys could be going through a breakup right now, but I do feel like you guys with the Death card and the Eight of Cups here, I do feel like you guys are walking away from this. Um, this actually could have been something you already walked away from in the past and it's just coming back up like this person is trying to come back into your life. I'm hearing for some others of you, you're just deciding to move forward. Um, I do feel like you are you aren't wanting to. Um, I feel like for a lot, Libra, you got a lot of you guys, Libra, you're just your their actions are aligning with their words and you're just trying you're just deciding to move forward and trying the best you can to move forward and just um, move on to new opportunities in your life because this. I don't feel like you want to, like I said, Libra, you're not looking to play games. And I do feel like this is a very, it is very tiring for you guys and exhausting because you have put yourself out there a lot. And I, I feel like you guys are wanting to, um, you're wanting something real. You're wanting something, um, you want that balance between whoever you're dealing with. You want to feel like it's an equal give and take between you two, that they're giving an equal amount of energy to you, just as if you're giving to them. You want somebody that's going to give you you know, 10, like, like a hundred percent all the way of their energy and someone that's going to um, show you that they care through their actions, not just through their words. So maybe, um, this person could have been the type of person where they were a lot, they were telling you amazing things. They were telling you like, I want to do this with you. I want to do this with you. But then their actions weren't aligning with their words. And I think that's when Libra, you decided to walk away from this. You decided, you know, this is the best thing I can do for myself, you know, during this time. I do feel like there's a lot of change coming in for you guys. Um, a lot is happening for you guys. A lot of new opportunities because with an ending comes a new beginning. So I do feel like there is definitely a some sort of transformation you're going through. And I feel like going through this connection, whatever this connection was, I do feel like it did bring, it brought a lot of clarity to you, but it also made you feel like, you know, it just confirmed what you truly want in a partner and what you don't want out of a partner. You know, it just really confirmed that. And I do feel like you are looking forward to greater and amazing things coming into your life. Um, you could have a lot of opportunities coming in for you at this time. And I do feel like there is a new opportunity that could be entering your life very soon and a person that could be um, entering your life as well. Wow. I do feel like you're... You're walking away from every anything that doesn't resonate with you. You know, like you don't have room for, in your heart for people that don't have good intentions, that are going to play games, that are going to, you know, not be serious about this. Because I do feel like Libra, you want something serious. You want something stable. You want, you want to be with your person. And I do feel like you're not settling for less than that. I do feel like you're choosing to make the best decision for what, for you, and like what is best for you because you want to be with somebody that's going to want you. And that's going to show you through their actions, Libra. Okay, let me just pull some. I'm going to pull some angel advice really quick. I didn't say I would pull this, but I kind of want to for you guys. I have some angel advice for um, guidance for Libras. But Libra, I definitely feel like you're standing your ground during this time. You're speaking up. You're, you're standing up for yourself. I'm seeing that here. romance so you could actually have some romantic endeavor coming your way somebody that has the best interest in you somebody you could be having a romantic connection coming in this next coming week or this next coming month or in the near future very soon libra so that's very positive okay let me just pull one more card for you guys and then i have within the next few weeks so that's just clarification so you could be meeting somebody new with from within the next few weeks or you could have a new opportunity um, coming in for you guys the next few weeks and maybe you know this new opportunity maybe you're going on a trip within the next few weeks and something amazing is going to happen then 
Wow, Libra. So I'm going to pick, um, this is your favorite characteristics about this person and the other person. And you know what? Um, if you already walked away from this person and you don't, it might not necessarily be about the person that you walked away from. Maybe this could be somebody, this could be somebody, um, new that you're meeting. Um, so just take that in mind. It could be this person that likes this thing about you, but it could also be somebody that you're about to meet in the near future that likes this quality about you as well. So emotional intelligence. I think I said during this re reading, Libra, that you did have emotional intelligence. Um, I believe it was you. Yeah, I told you that. But I do feel... So whoever you could be meeting or it could be this person that you dealt with or dealing with or connecting with at the time, they really enjoy um, your emotional intelligence. They find that very attractive. They find um, the fact that you can have deep conversations and that you could go deep and have very um, mature emotional conversations, very attractive. So this is what you find attractive about this person. And like I said, Libra, this could be for the person that you were about to meet as well. Okay. So for this connection or this un incoming connection, you find this attractive about this person. Genuine. So you could be meeting somebody Libra or connecting with someone in your future that is genuine this next coming week. You really like the fact this person is genuine. They have genuine intentions. They have, um, they could be a very caring person as well. Somebody that um, has good intentions. This one scene, that's just very positive. You know, that's super positive. Okay, Libra. So let's go over the initials and the numbers for you. Oh, so that was quick. We have 13, 6, 5, 15, and 27. I don't think this card has come out yet. So that's cool. And we have N-A-L-V-E. So these numbers or letters could be initials, possible initials of this person's first or last name or your first or last name. Um, and then the numbers could be someone's birthday. Um, they could Somebody could also be born in May or June as well. Or this could, any of these days could be a significant date of some sort. So yeah, Libra, that's all that I have for this reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, for all the comments, the likes, the support, the subscribes, you guys are truly amazing. And I just want to thank you guys so much. I truly think you guys are amazing. And you, I, I'm really, really, um, happy to have you guys as subscribers and anyone that's subscribed or if you haven't subscribed and you just watched this video and you really enjoyed it. I'm just so glad that you clicked on the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye Libros. <laughs>